Well, hello everyone, and welcome yourselves back in to Going Medieval, the wonderful settlement. I don't know what's going on. I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me today. Now, we've got these little shacks done, so we're slowly starting to build out their own little homes here that we will eventually upgrade. And we've got our little base set up here. We're just finishing off the pen as well, so Adam's working through that. But today, I really need to get this underground done because the summer is here and I'm, the, the spoilage is really, really bad. So actually, I'm going to force Audrey. She does have concussions, so she's being a bit bit dramatic, unfortunately. She's got some bruises, so actually she might, she might ease off shortly as well. I don't know how to heal her, so we'll leave her. But we do need to get the mining done. So I'm going to let Adam finish this pen and then hopefully he'll go and do some mining. But Adam... He has a three on that, but we could change him, and he will mine very quickly. Um, we do have Garwolf as well. If we want to just force them, they don't need to be a massive level here. So what are you up to, Garwolf? Cut plants. You don't really do much else, right? Artistry. So let's say no to that one. And then let's do that. Get you mining as well where possible. Your fishing is horrendous, Sybil. So fishing comes under animal handling. I've just tested it here. Uh, even at level 16, struggling massively to fish, unfortunately, which is quite annoying, but that's fine. We're having a little bit of rottage here. We've got no meals either. So what we need to do is make sure whoever's cooking is cooking. Because of Audrey here. So Audrey's meant to be doing that. But we do have the smoked meats. So they can live off smoked meats until then anyway. We set them to be able to eat that as well. So that's fine. Hopefully Audrey gets herself up and actually does something momentarily. He kind of does. Yeah, she's doing it now. Cool. Is it because of the bruising? Let's take a look. Yeah, so she's got mild concussion at the moment. Um, It seems to be getting worse and worse because we're making her do more. Is there a way of healing her? I don't know. That wolf. No way that wolf's eating my fish stuff. You cheeky sod. Right, Sybil. I know you're about to write. Who else have we got? Adam. Falling to stockpile. What are you grabbing? Because that wolf comes to eat everything we i don't think we've got room for it actually yeah look at all this just piling up in here so actually let's go ahead and copy one of these then get a few more shelving units set up just over here they can still get out the door we're kind of cramped in there but i think that's fine we're going to need to just have places to store them anyway and uh i need to then focus on so no one thing at a time down the bottom first so let's get adam on his way back. So what I might do is get him to build this afterwards. All right, just set a few trees that are mature to be chopped down as well. I'm going to look at getting my wall started here. I'm going to use this uh, this river at the back to kind of help here. But what I am going to do is actually have it. So I think you can dig it and create a moat. I'm not sure yet. But what we'll do is start something like this. We can terraform and fill this in eventually as well. So we'll use the dirt to do that as well. I think that indicates we don't have the wood needed, so that's fine. Let's start getting the wall up, though. There is no harm. And then we can convert that into clay eventually anyway. I think maybe we go into that first. I don't know how frequent we're going to need them, though. So. One thing I didn't check as well was the fermenting. So, they looks like all of that fruit juice got drunk, drank. And if I check in on their happiness, they were complaining about the drink, right? Yeah, so they all drank, so that class is as the uh, booze need for them, so the fermented berries. I've almost got some more. I am going to wait the one more day, it looks like, here. Maximum yield in one day, so we'll grab those berries when we can as well. All right, pen is finishing off now as well, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is say we want just goats in here. Uh, we could put other stuff in. For now, though, all we've got is goats, so we'll make sure that is all we put in. And hopefully we can buy or breed them as well. I don't know. How many have we got? Are they both male? No, one male, one female. So we could probably get them in here to breed. Oh, yeah. That is a baby one. Cool. Okay. So we do have them. So eventually, then, we're going to be in a good spot. But finally, Sybil has now gone to dig underground, which is awesome. So we're going to go under, and we're going to take a look at what's going on. Ah, two of them going to do it. Perfect. So, this is going to become the food store. I'm just going to fill this with shelving once they're done, I think. And that's going to come in pretty handy. And then they can only access it from out here, though. So, I will need to change that. I, it looks like it does hold if you dig them out. So, I could probably set that one to be dug as well. All right, checking in then. We've got no more raw meat now. So, we're going to need to set a few deers to be hunted. 
it's one of those do we tame them first in an ideal world we'd get the what's going on here in the ideal world we tame what we can so who is meant to be hunting here audrey she's still laying in bed audrey what is going on with you all right the concussion is now minor so ah she's almost there there's no point hunting with anyone else because she's the one with the bow and we can't carry another one. It's actually crazy how much with her being injured it it's uh it's affecting us. I could draft her and get her to do stuff, but I think it makes the concussion worse. We do have some food in any way, so it's not the end of the world. And I could force a cook oh, it looks like someone is cooking anyway. Just need the resources in there. Ah, Sybil's doing it. Nice. Thanks, Sybil. What's that one too? Animal feed. Hen hay makes 25 animal feed. I didn't even realize. That's really good. Training attempt failed. Nice try, though. Yeah, we're still trying to train these up because you can. Trained 18%. Just checking these berries out in the wild as well. We'll grab those where we can and make some more booze up. And those berries can also be used for cooking as well. All right, let's continue to select some trees where they are. So, cool. We just want the, the big boys like that. Mature ones. Lovely. Another 90 there. I think I'm going to wait to finish this, but yeah, I think you can dig a moat. That would be pretty cool. I actually want one layer of uh, of thingy by it. I'm not sure if you can eventually get into like bridges and stuff as well. We actually have 20 available as well. So if we wanted to get into something else, we could. Um, we could also up it and go to research two here, but I do kind of want to get clay brick make. Not sure how useful it's going to be yet, but everything else is quite costly. Although defensive structures too takes us metal traps. What else can we do for defensive here? I guess it's the armor. Let's go clay, clay brick making then. And we'll just get one kiln on the go. And I think there's no harm in just having it there for now. Base already occupied. That's not going to work then. That'll do right there. All right. She's up and hunting. Nice, Audrey. Are you feeling better now? A bit concussion. That means your ranged weapon hit chance is less as well, actually, which is a bit annoying. Hey, nice shot. Nice shot. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move one of these beds into here as well. Let's relocate that one there. Got a bit of playing here. How are you? You should be able to finish this winter clothing here as well. And now they've all got separate chambers. That's also going to keep them very happy. And how is our mining looking? He managed a little bit. Okay, we're better off where we were than where we were. And let's take a look. So we can create coal from wood. Not sure what we need with that yet. Clay bricks. 20 clay bricks and 50 ash. Okay, and we are going to say until you have... Not even sure how many to go with. Maybe 50 bricks for now. And then we can slowly build. I don't want to do too much. Well, well, well. This is actually really, really good. So, a hopeful helpmate, Dwight approaches with hands held out and warm, open smile. Keen to learn about Lonzi's liberators. Okay, uh, what do we get for this? What is he then? Marksman times two. Oh, he could have a good score. And he's also another intellect. Okay, the guy likes to fight. Got three perks though. We'll take him. We'll take him. Let's take a look at him then. Uh, what are we looking for here then? Oh, he's a one on marksman, but has a passion for it. His meal is rubbish, but intellect's good. Smithing, mining, this... He, we could get him straight onto mining, then. Yes. Okay, so he's going to nick clothing, isn't he? So let's get him managed the same as the other guys. Let's go eating profile. All headgear for now. And then weaponry. We'll say all weapons for now. And then jobs for Dwight. We're going to make sure he has patience and end. Urgent hall will also put us a two. There's no point doing any of these just yet. So for now, mate, you're just going to mine for me. It's going to be wonderful. Maybe haul. Yeah, that's cool. So we'll have him over. We need another bed now. So that's five. Might be worth us building that next uh, next little house then. But let's go over here. All right, there's the start of the next one. Let's get the thatched roof once again on top. I need to change these roofs as well, actually. Let me... Uh, I want them to be nice. So what do we want out of these? I'm not a big fat fan of the curved ones. They look a little bit weird, don't they? I feel like that's the best looking one. Flip shape. Go with that. Yeah, it's definitely the best looking one, right? Normal looks nice too, but let's go with that. There we go. Perfect. All right, animals are hungry. So we probably need to make some animal feed. 
Let's put that above as well so someone does it. He should be up and awake now as well. And let's see if he is cracking on with the mining. The wolf is coming to eat our deer over here as well. So we kind of need to get that going too. Hmm. Someone feed the animals. I don't know if you can set up a little like farm in here as well. Because actually they normally... If I click this, is it the same info? Is there like a food value in here? I don't think there is. So it's not like RimWorld where the, they'll just eat the natural grass that I can see. Unless I'm getting that wrong, guys. You'll have to let me know. We're also making our bricks. Good job on the butchery there, Garwolf. Okay, okay. Got a spare bed up in a minute as well. Dwight, what are you up to? Why are you, why are you doing that when I want you digging? I'm not sure what's going on with these jobs here. I've got Dwight on a one for mine, but he's choosing to do research. Hunt five deer, nice little uh, thing. Now he's asleep. All right, set a few more trees to be harvested as well to get this next little shack done. Yeah, I'm not sure how big we'll go. This might be a good space. And then killbox maybe over here, if killboxes work on this. I think they do. Let's get a little bit of fodder done as well. And a little bit more of that. So we'll, we'll start making the animal feed. Probably a good idea, right? Looks like our berry bushes are also good. So let's get those harvested as well. And then we need to get this really, really badly done. Guys, correct me if I'm doing something wrong here. But they seem to only be doing what they want. They're all just researching when they're on a one for mining. Am I doing something wrong here? Or is it because they can't mine it? Is that why? Are they not allowed to mine under there? Have I done something wrong? I reckon you, you've got to mine out that one first. Let me test that. Let me test it. Let me see if they go and do that. That might be the case. So we're doing something wrong because when I try and do it, it it's not working. Um, and there's nothing happening here. Construction level 28, that's nice. Just thinking, guys, is it because they can't get down there? Right, let's try something here. Let's try a little ladder there. I think that might be why. Uh, and Adam, can I get you to come and build this ladder? That'd be wonderful. Though he's not doing it either. All right, we officially have some clay now as well, so we could go for some insulation in here. Can you just recycle it? I guess you've got to break it down, which actually does suck a little bit. I thought you'd be able to recycle Oh my god, Audrey's gone to do something. Yes. Right, can we go mine that now? That was bugging out, so I wonder if we can get down there. The ladder's gone in the wrong blinking place. We'll soon find out, because Audrey's going to uh, construct that now. She's just grabbing the wood. Our next bedroom has been completed here as well, so let's get the flooring in for that. Sorry, I know I sound like a broken record on that digging. Just didn't know what was going on. And what we'll do is just go straight in with another bed in here. Whoever chooses it has it. We've still got the two in here as well, and we will get the other homes in i reckon we do just get another one in there and i have them in a row for now i might turn one this way potentially the ladder's been completed now so let's see if they do go and dig all right just checking on everyone's mood now so just making sure everyone is good ugly apparel desperately thirsty okay we got more berries then to work on that we do let's harvest a few of you and let's see if there's any more out in the wild could go grow pretty quick in the summer anyway and we'll keep fermenting we do have some research done now, but I am going to go ahead and go up to 30 now. So we can get some of the more advanced researches. And yes, that was the problem. So we've put a ladder in and we can now dig. Good job. Appreciate it. So I might go ahead and actually mine that one piece out as well. But yeah, Sybil is down there now. This is amazing. Okay, we're going to get our food stores done. So we're going to absolutely hammer through all this digging. And get, yeah, move all these downstairs. We are really, really full here. Um, I reckon we could go with more fermenting juice as well. They've got some booze to work with. Some fermenting there. We've got some fermenting there. Almost done as well. So you guys will have some to do. And look at this. Oh, so much better. I'm happy now. All right. I don't know how deep to go. But I think we'll make sure. So under the roof. 7.7. .7. It's like a fridge. It's really, really nice. 25 degrees outside. Under here is 6.9. Do we go down one more? I think we go down one more. Go on, guys. I appreciate it. This is exactly what we needed. I'm going to double ladder it, I think. We'll go all the way down. I don't want to dig those pieces yet because they might get stuck. Although that seems to be still be going down like a fridge. So that's really good. It seems to be going lower and lower like a freezer, actually. So... I oh, don't know if we're even going to need to go any lower, so I might cancel these. Let's just stay one down. 
I think that's fair. And then I can start building out some of the furniture. I think that's more than big enough, right? So I'm just going to slow it down. And we are going to go ahead and get these shelves down here for now. I'm just going to get a few of these along here. And we're going to move all the food down. I wonder if we get, we get some iron and stuff from that. Potentially, you might find some iron nuggets whilst we're doing that. Let's go back up, though. And let's get these guys chopped and ready. So we're going to get some more trees on the go. And ideally, I'd like to get the perimeter and stuff sorted as well. That should be more than enough, though. I don't want to do too much. Looking good on the food again now as well. Plenty of uh, meat. And we do have a little bit of milk. I don't know if these guys are hungry anymore. Training seems to be working, though, which is nice. Ever so slowly. We had a dead goat. So one of them did die. Is that because they didn't eat? I think so. Yeah, we need to feed them desperately. So can we can we get this one done? I'm going to prioritize production from Audrey. I've got her uh, hunting at the moment. Let's get the animal feed done before our goats blink and die. That'd be wonderful. Oh, and you're deciding to do food first. It doesn't tell you which production you can prioritize, though. And is that because we don't have any? We do. Animal feed. Can I? Who's my animal person, then? No way of feeding them, either. Sybil, are you feeding? Right, I have an idea. There we go. Fodder with animal feed there. Let's see if we can get that sorted. Sybil, can you... Get that going. Does anyone want to haul that over for me? That'd be wonderful. And then what we'll say in here is no, no fodder that is animal feed. I think that works. Let's see if they haul that over now and then they can eat off that spot. There we go. Go on. Go goats. Yes, it worked. All right. Figuring it out. We're winning. I've got it. That should sit there for a little while. I don't know how long the animal feed actually lasts. though. 16 days. That's absolutely fine then. So... Plenty of animal feed there, and we won't lose any more goats. All right, so there it is. Turned into rough wine from fermented fruit juice. Okay, it's good that we're keeping an eye on that, eh? The white has turned 28 today. Oh, so, you're so, so I'm not used to settlers aging and stuff as well. So all this is quite new to me. But there we go. We have a little bit of underground there. And I need to find a way. There's got to be a way of sealing this off. So if I go up and we put in kind of door here, I guess. Uh, it does look like we need more wood as well, though. We are currently trying to set ones to be cut. I didn't want to... Again, I'm making sure they're the mature ones. I, I massively appreciate that tip. Because I think I was wasting too much wood. Not going to lie, guys. feel like a bit of an idiot not feeding my animals, though, and losing a goat. Hopefully, we haven't just got two males left. No, we've got one female, one male. So we should get more. I'll keep them in a smaller pen anyway. Um, I'm hoping you can cap... Like in the other ones, you can kind of set to be slaughtered as well. Okay, region. View region map and neighboring settlements. Construct a cartography table to view map of the region. Ah, okay. Okay, how much is that? 30. So maybe that's the one we get. Because you can trade a bit more then. That might come in pretty handy. The next house will be out of brick as well. I think we hold fire and we do the outer walls out of clay. If I just look at clay wall, the hit points are not as good as wood. How weird. Limestone. We have limestone. Ah, okay. Clay brick wall. Oh, clay brick. There we go. We have clay bricks, right? Yes. Cool. So we're going to have the biggest hit points we can and we're going to use this as our, our wall now. So actually, I'll start the other side. Enough room for the farming, so I think we'll go from here. And we've got 50 bricks, so we can start with that, and we'll start getting a bit of a clay wall up. And hopefully that works intended how I wanted it to, so they can go up through the wall there, and then go and get all that stored stuff done. I'm going to go ahead and relocate these down. All right, so we've relocated all of those underground now, so they just need building. I don't know if Adam's stuck down here. Adam, are you okay? I think he is. Okay, we have a problem. <laughs> uh, let me pause. I think by me doing this, it caused an issue. So actually, Adam, can you come and do that, mate? Prioritize that. Hopefully he can reach that. We need the doorway over here. That's fine. I'm trying to figure out if we can do some kind of floor. I tried it. Um, so there's got to be a way. If we move it back one... Copy that. We kind of do that, and then we put in... I don't know if this works. Do that. I might cover it. I just want to cover it so it's hidden, so it looks nice, you know? I reckon that works. Let's go with that. 
How's the feed looking as well? All good there. I don't know whether to put a shelf unit there as well or maybe cover it. We can have a little like bit for them. And actually, I know this was a, a terrible idea, actually. I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct all of these. We're going to go with clay. We're going to take our time with it. We haven't been attacked yet. I guess it's only if you annoy people. We're in day six of the summer. I just realized for the new thingy. So days from start 17, if you hover over. So we're 17 days in then. Hopefully this doesn't cause too many issues. It looks like they are moving our shelving units down there, though, with the food on. So, under the roof. It's definitely cooler, but it's not as good. So how long does one of these last down here, then? Five days. Not as good as I'd liked. Beets last forever. Beets are really good. Holy crap. Yeah, so 11 degrees. I guess in the winter this will be really good under here. That's all right, though. That'll do for now. It's, it's better than up here, right, by a considerable amount. So, all right, we're going to look to do a little bit more hunting here with Audrey. So what I want out of Audrey is... Oh, she's Marksman 10. So I'm going to go into Manage for her, and I'm going to say Ranged. But then we're also going to give Dwight Ranged. And hopefully, Audrey can swap herself for the short bow. And then what I'm going to say for you... That'll be stored in the weapon rack, right? Oh, we have a buckler too. Okay, let's give Adam the shields as well. So I'm just figuring this out. Audrey, you equip longbow. I'm going to force her to get the longbow now she can. And then Dwight, I'm going to get to as the other one. When they move that onto the rack, we'll do it. It's kind of hard to find where they're at. So, And the floor does cover it over, which looks really good. So I'm quite happy with that. That may help with it being better underneath then. We'll have to see. With all that built, let's see. Okay, night time, three degrees. Three degrees. Very nice. I think it's dipping too. And that's because it's 14 degrees down here. So it's about 10 degree difference just by being underground there, which is really good. And yeah, that does work as intended. So they can get in and out. Wow, well, I don't know what happened there. Like she can get in and out. Can she get in and out? Or is Audrey stuck? I think Audrey's stuck. So you can't have... Oh, I put blinking windows. All along, I put bloody windows. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it. All along, it's because we put bloody windows in there. <laughs> All right. The starts of our completely clay brick wall there is coming along. That's going to be pretty sturdy, right? Now, I think what we'll do is have, like, little extra areas where we can shoot from. But we need to decide where our opening is going to be. And this kind of makes sense because it's clearly open, right? Gives us enough build room as well. Let's go into research tabs. So we've got 30. It means we are in a position to continue to go on. What's this cooking here? We've got a stove and lavish, lavish meal. Stone fireplace. Okay. So we can move away from our campfire. We also want... I also definitely want cartography and smelting. At the same time, we've got research too. So I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Let's go smelting. We can start getting some iron bars. Now let's go cartography. And the reason I'm going cartography um, is so I can actually sell more stuff and go out onto the world map. So we're just going to set a little place over here for these two. So let's just give a market stall there. And then we need our cartography table, which is there. All known places hereabouts. Useful for orientation and making. Okay. So I think we can fit this one nicely over here. One cartography table. I think butcher's table can maybe go downstairs now too. Tempting to dig this out a little bit and change that over. All right. So is there now a storage for clothing as well? We could change from a wicker stall to a wooden chair. That could help with more happiness as well. Let me check. So we've got weapons going into there. If I put a shelf unit in, let's check on our shelves. No, you can't put textiles in there. So we need the next furniture one for that. Okay, let's have a quick look at happiness then. Let's see what everyone has. Lacking in entertainment. Okay, go play some stuff. Overall, we're not too bad on the mood. They've got their, uh, their debuff now. So we probably need to focus on getting that up a little bit. Um, do we have any more clay in stock? We do. We've got loads of clay. 400, in fact. So, actually, we can keep going with the bricks and get this going as well. Uh, more rough wine coming in as well, so that's good. I'm going to keep that going as much as I can. So, if I find them around the map, I am going to harvest them. 
It kind of makes sense. But only if they're really, really red. Intellectual 27 for Sybil now as well. Already starting to work through some of these. We definitely want this terraforming as well. It's 45 though. So I think we'll stick to what we're saying and go down this route. What the... When we get the maces and axes and stuff over here as well. All right. So I think next episode... Now we've got our food store finished, which was our main thing for this. Next one, we're going to carry on getting as much clay as we can. And we'll get our next bedroom set as well. But guys, that is going to be where I end this one out. I appreciate you joining me. And I understand that I am still learning. So I do appreciate you sticking with me and giving me those tips. Keep them coming down in the chat as well. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you aren't subscribed, please do. And hit that thumbs up for me. As always, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.